All right, so today I wanted to just jump on here really quickly and talk about dirty microfiber cloths. If you're anything like me, you clean with microfiber cloths. It's way more cost effective than just using paper towels. Uh, I really like the way that they, um, because they're so tightly knit in the microfiber, they pick up a lot of things that are on the counters. But what that means is that they generally take on a negative odor, <laughs> well, <laughs> to say it nicely, um, relatively often. So especially if you're buying um, nicer cloths like Norwex or um, e-cloths. Uh, these are actually a, a variety that I got on Amazon. It was a pack of like 25. Um, they're, they're called udder cloths. And so they have the silver woven in similar to e-cloth or um, Norwex, but they were significantly cheaper and it's just rough cut of the material, which I didn't mind. Um, and it was nice to get a pack of 25 because I didn't have to do this as frequently as, you know, when I just had two Norwex cloths. I was cleaning every couple days. So um, I want to show you how to get these smelling like new again uh, and get rid of some of that like dinginess that stays even after you, after you put them through the washing machine. So first thing we're going to do is fill a pot with water. Okay, so now I've got my pot. I filled it with water. I'm using a, a big stock pot uh, because I have quite a few of these that I wanna boil out. So I'm actually, the water is just tap room temperature right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cloths in. So I like to put them in before I boil. It makes it a little bit easier and I feel like I can get them like fully saturated so they're kind of um, sinking and not floating. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the uh, stove top on. I'm gonna turn it on medium heat just so I don't you know, burn anything because I'm gonna leave these and I'm not gonna pay attention to them for a while. So the second thing that I do, um, and this is totally optional, you can just boil them and that will get the, the scent out. Usually I boil for like 20 minutes and that takes a lot of it out. I'm actually usually really disgusted by the color of the water when I finish, um, especially because these just came out of the washing machine. So you would think they would be clean, but they are not as clean as I would have hoped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tea tree oil uh, and I'm going to drop about five drops in. So you can use any um, brand of essential oils. I like Plant Therapy. I really like their business model. Um, I like that there's no pressure and I can just go online and order when I need some. Um, but whatever oils that you use and you choose as your family, uh, go ahead and use those. I like tea tree, lemon, orange. Those all add a really nice clean scent. I also like tea tree because it has some antibacterial properties. So I feel like it just gets it extra clean. So I'm gonna let that come to a boil and then we'll be back. Right, so these have been boiling for about 20 minutes um, and I think that they are just about done. So you might notice I added a couple more drops of tea tree. Mine were really gross this time. So um, I felt like a little bit more couldn't hurt. So I've let that boil um, significantly. So now we're gonna strain it um, and then we'll see what we're left with. So as you saw, um, after I drained all of the water, I went ahead and rinsed each of those rags. Um, and I can tell you already, 
they smell a million times better than they did when I started. So hopefully that helps you out as you're trying to make your microfiber cloths like new again. I try to boil them every other week or so, and then I'll wash them in the dish, in the, not in the dishwasher, in the washing machine in between. Thanks for watching our video, and if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe.